Bloodroot is most frequently planted as lethargic rhizomes, underground stems, in spring or fall. On the off chance that you're not ready to plant them right away, eliminate the rhizomes from their plastic pack, envelop them with wet paper towels and store them briefly in the cooler. Light, partial sun to light shade. Soil, choose where the soil will be reliably wet all through the season, yet which doesn't get waterlogged. Change your soil with a lot of manure prior to planting. Dispersing, position three rhizome divisions roughly one separated with enough encompassing space to oblige your state up to three feet in breadth in the long run. Planting, dig down about an inch beneath the outer layer of the soil and position every rhizome evenly. Cover with altered soil and mulch lightly with hacked leaves. The most effective method to grow bloodroot throughout the season. Growth Habit The spring blossoms are around 6 inches high. By pre-fall, the leaves ultimately arrive at around 1 foot high. Staking No staking is required. Watering Regular watering isn't needed for bloodroot filled in an obscure spot with typically sodden nursery soil. Be that as it may, in the halfway sun or on the other hand on the off chance that your soil will in general dry out, water week after week to keep the leaves from going lethargic throughout the mid-year. Fertilizing, commercial manure isn't suggested. Be that as it may, a layer of good nursery fertilizer spread around the border of the bloodroot settlement will energize its preceded with extension. Mulching, the ideal spring mulch is an inch or so of slash trotting leaves around the plants. Try not to utilize a weighty layer of bark mulch. Bloodroot care, end of season care. Overwintering, sprinkle about an inch of hacked leaves over the rhizomes as a colder time of year mulch. Managing and pruning, none required. Separating and transplanting, you don't have to partition your bloodroot except if you have any desire to start another province.